Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Bear and Breakfast. We still need to go to Darkgrave to get Sage for Julia. And while we go make our way through to Dark Grove, sorry, um, we're going to stop off at our other resorts just to check in on all the guests and to make sure that we have new guests incoming because we want to make sure we have the money mill going. Okay. Uh, so far, everything's been going pretty smoothly. We haven't really had too many problems. Um, that's yeah, We haven't set up the farmhouse just yet. So we're going to worry about the dinky shed first. Uh, we've got some requests. So seven and eight. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think we're going to have a problem with these numbers. So decorations plus 23. Do we even have a 23? We do not. So we're not choosing her. Oh, 23 and 10. Oh, wow. Okay. So she wants 11 and 12. We have a 15 and 11. Oh, that would have been perfect, but the comfort is just one below, which is not going to give us favorable reviews, to be honest. Uh, 10 and 15. Actually, I think we've got a perfect one for the. Yep. There go. Oh, okay. Seven and eight. Uh-huh. We'll do that. Uh, that's not great, but it's fine. The Yeah, 11 and 12. Uh, it's fine. Take bedroom four. Okay, we cannot... No... We can't choose any of these folks because 23 is a bit too high. I had thought we were much higher than that, but apparently not. Okay, I'm assuming obviously because the prestige level is pretty high. We're uh, getting more advanced requests. Then let's go head on to the A24. Let's go check our resort there. And it's through one of these areas that we get to, the, to to Dark Grove. I think it's through Sawdust or Timber Crossing. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, welcome to Port Horn Voyage Leadership. Sorry, an advancement program. You can now further improve this establishment. Well, etc. Build five level two bedrooms in A24. Cool trinket that can help tell time. Yes. Pretty sure this job's already done. Yep. Yep. Congratulations! Great. For this location. Watch times one. And we'll offer a higher payout in return. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um. Oh yeah, another thing as well that you might have noticed is that we kind of stopped our City Skylines playthrough because um I don't know, I was just finding it was, it. there were too many things that were sort of unbalanced um, and, and just a bit weird, like things that you expected to work in a certain way just didn't. Um, and yeah, so I figured it would be something that we could definitely revisit. Look, again, you know, it's one of those things, it's not the greatest, but it's one of, it's just, it is what it is, right? Um, but yeah, we'll definitely revisit it at some point when things kind of improve in the game okay so 13 3 and 5 let's go assign there 15 5 2 okay, 15 5 2 yep i'll do that 11 4 5 hygiene decoration great uh that's 23 so problem um, 14, I think, no, our hygiene is 9. Okay. Then I think we'll just... Yeah. And then perhaps... 14, 3, and 1. Maybe? Okay. Right. So the 
yeah at least that resort's fully booked so that's fantastic um and then yeah we want to like i said we want to get back to dark grove so it's not through here i don't think this is an exit nothing but pavement what happens if oh nothing nothing happens if we walk that way What's in here? Moldy chest. That's great. Nothing in it though. Oh, maybe that's a little building we can fix up. That seems like the right idea there. Uh, yeah. And then I think it's also it might be worth looking at how we can enhance these rooms a bit because it, the requests are getting significantly higher which is not a bad thing don't get me wrong okay let's just look at this map quickly no sorry not the world map um okay there is no passage there i think i'm gonna go that way let's have a quick look I remember reading a sign for Dark Grove somewhere or another, but I just, I cannot for the life of me think where we read it. Yeah, that's the thing. This, this is also, yeah, we need prospecting gear to get through there. Let's go around the dump. Maybe we've got a area out this side you know what let's walk through the dump why not collect some resources while we go mm. no it's that same one so then it must definitely be through sawdust because it's not through timber crossing uh, although we'll need to get you know we'll need to get two sawdust through timber crossing Okay, that's, um, unfortunate. Let's have a look. Ah, also, let's do this. At least that is now up and running. Just gonna make things a little easier for us. Okay, so... There's Tony. So, there's doesn't look like there's anything blocking there. That's his area exit. That's his area exit. Yeah. Oh, you know what it is? It's up at the top there. It's up at the top because that bottom one leads back to, I think, Black Moss. Or, no, sorry, not Black Moss. Um, to the thicket where we started out. And, ah, that's where we saw the sign. Too dark. Oh, I should have stopped and gotten a bus sign. This isn't creepy at all. What is happening? This looks, um, interesting. Yeah, this isn't. Okay. Oh, it's him again. What the hell? Hey, Gus. I think we got off on the wrong foot. And now I used up both. Never meant to um say nice things about you. Yeah, well, you can't just do that, people. It could ruin someone's day. But you said pleasant things about me, too. I think. That's different. It wasn't about me. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you following me around? No one comes to Dark Grove. But I'd start my day off right with a little self-terror. Beats washing your face with water. Finally, you make sense. So what are you up to? In case I've accidentally given the impression that I'm a space scientist or something, I like to scavenge. It's what I do. I get into every nook and cranny and fish out the little artifacts the universe forgot about. Now, no one's stepped foot in Dark Grove in years. 
And this tower here is like old, like really old. You can tell by the fact that there isn't a tower anymore. But that didn't stop humans from using it anyway, at least until they up and left, tearing everything down behind them. So like a nerd in a board game shop, I dive right in, getting my little trinket fix. No one can tell me not to. I wouldn't dream of it. Is that how you got your nickname? Jacket, sorry. Nickname. Oh yes, my little green jacket. I found it in the White House up the mountain. I roll around in the garbage dump once a week to keep it fresh. Ew. Well, I really like it. It's a nice jacket. Ugh, yeah, this old thing. It's uh, actually gotten pretty musty and I can't get the mud smell out of it. Should probably change it soon. You don't say. Hey, Pickens has been slim in the old grub department. You wouldn't happen to have anything to gnaw on, would you? I could go make you something. Boy, I'd kill for an egg dippy. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have. Okay. I don't think we've learned recipes and stuff yet. I think that's what Julia might be teaching us. Indeed. Okay, there's some mushrooms. Um, what else is going on here? Okay. Strange wooden leg. Does he mean like a prosthetic leg? Well, I hope not. That uh, would be super weird. Okay. And we're walking. And the game just auto saved, which is really worrying. Can't get through there. Ooh, is that Sage? It's just herbs. That's kind of disappointing. Um, okay. Where, if I was Sage, where would I be? Is there Sage? Yes. We have Sage. While we're here, let's, like, collect as much as possible so that we don't have to come back for a while. That would be really nice. Okay, mushrooms. Um... There's some herbs. Now, curiously enough, I didn't see a bus sign. Which reminds me of the other place. Um, what's the name of it? The Black Moss. Uh, in Black Moss, there's no bus stop either. So it seems like we've got to walk here each time. Which is okay. Which is fine. Okay. At least now we have a bus sign here in Sawdust, so that we can just hop on, quickly run back to Julia, give her the sage that we found, and yeah, we'll just take it from there. Now I'm really curious to see where this sort of story evolves into. Come on. Um, whether it's just going to continue being nice, whimsical, and charming, and all of those cool things. Or, is this going to take a dark and nefarious turn? Which it gives off those vibes, right? Especially from the first little, little bit that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Julia! Oh! Uh, hello again. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you back. Did you find any sage? Yep, got it right here. What? You really got some? Oh my, it really is. So musty and crisp. Did you really go all the way there? To Dark Grove? Piece of cake. See, bears don't have to worry about underwear. Listen, if you're serious about getting this place back up on its feet, I think I can help. Captain's family ate all sorts of food. They'd grow it in the garden and cook it down into flavors you've never even dreamed of. Sweet, sour, buttery, earthy, smoky, tangy. I didn't know I could taste words before. And well, I know for a fact your humans are going to want some, so I can teach you how to do that. If you'd like to stick around. I would love to! Great! I mean, I'm happy to hear that. You can help yourself from the garden. Things grow pretty fast in there, so help yourself. Okay. Great. That's cool.
Now, the captain had a big table the whole family would sit around. We've unlocked a new craft recipe. Little dinner stool. Small plywood table. Tiny buffet recipe. You should probably give folks some room to eat. So dining rooms. Uh, there are rooms where your guests can consume meals. Craft and place a serving table. A table and a chair to make it functional and give uh, a food score. Sorry. Meals added in the serving table will give out their food score to guests. Guests will consume these meals usually three times a day. Meals added in the serving table will give out their food score to guests. Oh, huh, interesting. Okay, each dining room will affect an entire building, so resorts with multiple buildings will require multiple dining rooms. Each dining room will affect an entire building. Got you. Okay. Raw ingredients will not award any food score, only cooked meals will. Lower level, lower level serving tables have fewer slots available to fit meals, while higher level serving tables will have more meal slots. Oh my gosh. Okay, um... Jeez, I didn't think it was going to get like this intense. There's quite a lot of mechanics that we've managed to unfold. It's a super in-depth game. Nothing to see here. Just a farmer bear busy taking care of his crops. You know? Nothing to see here. Gotcha. Okay, so we need to build a functional dining room. Uh, not there though. Okay, build a room. Special. Nope. Sorry, food. Build a functional dining room. Now, I would imagine that we would also need to build a kitchen at some point. Yeah. How big does it need to be? Three by three. Absolutely. I'm thinking maybe what we should do is maybe we can put it sort of central. Yeah. Okay. Crafting, never mind. We're going to just say create room, crafting. I keep forgetting that we need to craft the stuff first and then move it from my inventory, inventory sorry. Um, campfire, basic beer stuff. Boom. So tiny buffet recipe. Got you. So... There is... Uh -huh. Ah. Okay. There's that. And then... Did I not make... A stool? Apparently not. Huh. Got you. Uh, what we can also actually do, sorry, is let's do four stools. Yeah. One. But when I place this... Okay, that's, yeah, when I placed it, it wasn't supposed to collide with anything. Okay. So then... Yeah, let's... Rather do that. Okay, so it's not four, but it's something. Uh, it's enough to get us started. That's the thing. 
Okay, now I'm assuming we'll need a kitchen. But we're going to talk to her first and let's see. So how about that dining room? Can't believe you're going through all this trouble. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I haven't been myself. I've been by myself for a long time. There's barely a soul that passes through here these days. Except the ones who make a fuss at night, I guess. But I don't have the guts to confront them. That sounds terrifying. Anyway, you've got everything you need to start making some delicious food. Oh, except like one important bit. Somewhere to cook it all. Now, I did my best with what I had in the guest house. But I am pretty proud of my little kitchen. Ipswich's wholesale. Okay, you've unlocked a new crafting recipe, cast iron stove recipe, puny cutting board recipe. Interesting. And I expect you to make your own. Got it. Kitchens are rooms where you can cook meals. They require either a cutting board, cooker, grill, or microwave. Not all objects are required. Kitchen objects are noisy and smell funny, which means they carry a negative decoration score. Guests will not interact with kitchens, however, kitchens will apply the negative decoration score in an area of effect around them. This debuff will affect any bedrooms built next to the kitchens, as well as the overall prestige score in that resort. Place plenty of decoration items to offset the negative effect of the, um, of kitchen objects, sorry. Okay, so essentially put positive decoration items within the kitchen to offset the effect. Got you. You can see the debuff area by clicking on the room while in build mode. Great. Uh, which means we also don't really want to attach the kitchen directly to the dining room. Okay, so it's 3 by 3 but I think let's do... Yeah, that seems reasonable. Alright. Is that a door here? Actually. The nice thing about putting the doors this way is that I can actually see what's going on inside the building. And I think the same for this. Yeah. Like I said, I can actually see what's going on inside the building, which is super helpful. Um, add a door. We'll create the room. Crafting. Then... Ah, of course. We want to build one of those. And then we would like to build that cutting board. And there we go. Okay. Um, no, man. Where did it go? I crafted them, didn't I? Furniture items. There's a front desk. I suppose we can put this in here for now. Yeah. Then... Ah, of course. I actually don't know if that even... It did. Got you. Ooh. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. Clearly I didn't craft them. I'm pretty sure I had clicked craft though. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I know what's happened. Uh, I think because my inventory is full. They are not going to my stash. Damn. So what is happening to them? Are they just not? Okay. Let's put down the... We can put down the cast iron so long. Crafting. Let's try this one more time. Cutting board. Yeah. Now, I didn't notice if we lost resources. Because of that. Uh, let's hope not. Let's do this. Hmm. Cool.
Great. Okay, and now how do we... Okay, so we're building... We've built a functional kitchen. Let's then go back to the chateau. I'm assuming she's going to tell us now how to actually cook. So, that would be great. Did you manage to get a kitchen up and running? Yep. Well, what are you waiting for? Time to give it its maiden voyage. I haven't exactly won any cooking competitions out there. Oh, nonsense. You're a natural. I can smell it on you. The smell is definitely natural. <laughs> I'm sure not everyone's going to be picky from the get-go. Grab some taters from the garden and some mint next to the lake. Giving your kitchen a spin. Cook one mashed potatoes and one mint tea. Now, cooking... So welcome to cooking. Your goal is to follow recipes by matching ingredient items with cooking method cards. Interact with any placed cooking object to bring up the cooking screen. Any object in a kitchen will bring up the same interface. You have to learn at one, at least one recipe, sorry, before you're able to access cooking. Each cooking object you place in the kitchen will give you access to cooking cards in the interface. Higher level cooking objects will yield new cards and larger number of overall cards. Different recipes require different cooking method cards, which can hold ingredients. Step by step, go to the recipe book and pick a recipe, then pick the appropriate cards from your deck. Put down a card in the cooking slot. Place the ingredient from your inventory into the cooking slot that has a card. What? Okay. Some cards require fuel to function, so make sure we place a fuel card. Place fuel in the occupied fuel slot from your... In you know what? I'm gonna... You know what? I have a feeling this is one of those things where it's it's gonna make sense to us when we actually do it. So, let's... Cool. Alright. So, we've got a recipe card. That I'm assuming... Needs to be... Right. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah. Then potatoes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Got you. So there's fuel. Hang on. There's potatoes. And we need that. Correct. If we add fuel, do we need to boil the potatoes? We do need to boil the potatoes. Okay. Okay, got you. That's, that's weird. Mm hmm Okay, now, herbs, uh, we've got mint, we'll need, so mint tea, we'll need a boil, yep, we'll need fuel, got you, so we're gonna cook, okay, interesting that's what i'm saying that's why it's it's actually kind of easier to understand once you're in it because when i was reading that it was just that that seemed very very complex okay we're just julia Did you get some cooking done? I sure did. Well, you certainly did something. 
but it's better than my first try. Julia's recipe says new items available. Visit the shop to find new items available for purchase. All right, now you better go serve it before it gets cold. Place mashed potatoes in a serving station. Place the tea in a serving station. Which I believe was this thing. Tiny buffet. We got some mashed potatoes. Where is our mint tea? Oh, and we found these teas a while ago. Okay, got you. Understand. Huh. Okay, Julia, could you not run away for a second? Yep. Well, congrats, Hank. You just cooked your first batch of food for someone else. And that's nothing to sneeze at. Now, you better make sure there's always food in there for folks to eat. You can make the same stuff, sure, but you'll run out of ingredients quick, so you better learn how to cook more stuff than mash and tea. I've got plenty of recipes from the Captain's cookbook. Come by my little booth sometime. Could always use the coin. Okay, I think let's do that right now. And we already have a couple of food items as well, which is great, because um, it means that we can just kind of... Either we can save those for when we don't know uh when we don't have ingredients or whatever to cook or we could just plonk them down for the meantime um we'll see okay egg dippy we need to learn this anyway um egg dippy which we've learned cornflakes yeah roasted potatoes always a good job apple bowl there's a lot of apples in this area um corn on the cob i like that boiled eggs we haven't really seen many eggs have we let's do chamomile tea and mushroom soup yeah we can do those because those are pretty recurring from what i can tell so we can cook the cook the, sorry the egg dippy for gus uh although mind you these are tomatoes so we actually should have taken that tomato soup which is fine um yeah cool now i just want to make sure that the food doesn't expire because if it doesn't expire then maybe what we could do is we can, oh, do you know what? We'll need to find more fuel before actually we can do any of that. But, yeah, we definitely need to find fuel. Um, I'm trying to think, where was a good, oh, uh, well, right here. Holy jeepers. It was 40 pieces. Uh, That's not a finite resource, right? I don't think so. Cool. Let's go see if we can use what we have for the meantime. Also free up some of this inventory space. So let's do corn on the cob, which is butter. We don't have butter, do we? No. I don't think so. Okay. So we're not doing corn on the cob. We can do some mushroom tea. Sorry, soup. Apologies. No, because we need onions. Oh, we've got onions. Got you. Okay, fuel. Just there. Then we've got... Uh, oil. Yeah, we're going to do boil. So, if we wanted to make... Fantastic. Happy. Happy with that. Oh, because we can't put more than one ingredient in at a time. Got you. However, what we could do, possibly, herbs, butter, potato. We don't have butter. Where do we get butter from? Interesting. Okay. So we'll do back. Uh, I don't know what egg dippy is. Aha. And then we've got the... Got you. So if we go to the cutting board. There we go. Raw. Let's do this. I was going to say. Be 
very interesting. Let's organize that a bit more. Cooking items. Okay, cool. I mean, this is, I think this could be a pretty cool, fun little uh, introduction to some, some things. So let's go, let's cook. Can we cook all of this? Uh-huh. Jeez. Oh, okay. Um, mushroom soup. I think... I don't think we can do that at the same time. No, we can't. Okay. Fair enough. That's busy cooking. Load up the apple bowl so long. Like I said, we've got a lot of apples. Okay. Interesting. Um... Yeah, so there is obviously, there must be some way to get, there must be some way to get, like, butter. I don't know if we have to learn how to make it, or, yeah, I don't know. Uh, no, we'll keep that for now, because maybe we want to use it while we're building. What we can maybe put aside is the stash, the stash items. Doesn't look like there's an expiry date for the timers, so. But we could just quickly do it like that. Great. I don't know what the bag of seeds does. Well, I can take a guess. Cool. We obviously want to build a room. Um, now. The farmhouse has has a floor up and a floor down. Again, assuming that the farmhouse will also have some sort of bathroom requirement. So we'll need to... Yeah. No, that, that does make a lot of sense. So I'm thinking... Because folks will come up from here... So we could perhaps use this as a decoration. We could build one room here. But for now, I think let's build the bathroom. Which is three by three. In the dead center. Because that that's exactly what I wanted. Exactly. We're going to just put the door. You know what? Let's put the door there. That makes sense. Cool. Um, sinks. Uh, balls. I need to make all the sinks and stuff. A sink, toilet, and a shower. Huh? Crafting. So we're going to do a... Sink. Focus row. There we go. Okay, rested bathroom sink. Put in shower. Really? Okay, don't have copper plates. It's a crappy toilet. <laughs> uh, copper plates, copper plates. I would imagine the best place for us to go look for that would be the scrapyard. Okay, let's quickly run over there. Um, just trying to get the bearings here. No, 824. <laughs> Yeah, so let's quickly go to the scrapyard, see if we can scrounge up some copper plates. If we can, um, great. We'll work on building the bedrooms in the farmhouse. And I think it would be cool to look at... Surely copper plates would be in a dump like this, right? Am I being funny? 
I think that was three, actually. Yeah, because if we got, uh, not quests, inventory. Yep. Oh, nice. Another two. Yeah, like I said, we'll we'll work on getting the bedrooms and stuff sorted. And I think we'll... I want to try and replicate the upstairs and downstairs. Um, maybe we can then expand the dining room a bit more. I think that'll actually be pretty cool. And then now that we've got like things like the dinky shed and stuff, I don't think it's quite all that necessary to go back and refit them with things like dining rooms and stuff like that. I get the vibe that each one is, and I think they even said this somewhat in the beginning. Um, good place to hide a body. That's not ominous. Um, <laughs> that each sort of resort place, whatever you want to call it, is kind of catering to a very specific individual so they're not really interested in things like the hygiene and stuff like that i don't know we'll, we'll just have to wait and see okay return back to high lake okay it's finishing up finishing finishing finish up this bathroom We'll do that. So we've got shower, all that stuff. Great. Inventory. Wooden shower. There we go. Rusted sink. There we go. And lastly, a crappy toilet. Uh, before we put that stuff down, we actually should have gone to check if Porn Voyage doesn't have materials for... Oh, they've got a fridge though. Fridge recipe, so that's nice. What am I going to do with a fridge? Oh, you know what? We could probably put the fridge in the kitchen. Yeah, small refrigerator. Does have a minus five, though? Interesting. Okay. Um... Yeah, we must definitely have a look as to who can give us a better recipe for these toilets and stuff. Because that'll be quite nice. Okay. We're going to do bedrooms. So two by three and... We've got sort of influence all the way down here. So we could start off here. And maybe even go this way. Yeah, I like that. And I feel like we can afford to um, I feel like we can definitely afford to make the rooms a little bit bigger. I don't know if this is against the I think it's against the wall. Looks like it. Um, yeah, we can definitely afford to make the rooms a smidge bigger. Because even if it's just longer. Yeah. This one was one, two, three, huh? No, that's... Okay, so I have to complete the room. I'm gonna build another room, another bedroom. We're gonna go one, two, three. Boom. We're gonna put the door there. Can't actually if there was a better way to do this. Can't remember, sorry. There was, but nonetheless, we're here. Great. Crafting. We'll do functional furniture. Shabby pallets, shabby wooden bed, rustic delight bed, simple wardrobe. We're doing rustic delights. See if we can do we can do five. Okay. Wardrobes. 
Oh, we're going to need planks. I think we're going to need to go for a whole new resource run. Because we have nothing. Hmm. It's mostly things like the pine wood planks. Those are the biggest issues currently. Okay. Um, so we're going to have to do that then. Should have just wrapped up these three rooms to begin with. No problemo. Uh huh. Got you. There we go. Cool. Sorted. We can put some. Do we have? No. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got a damn thing. Sawdust is the place we want to go for pine wood. Yeah. It's generally the best sort of area. Okay. Um. Well. Tell you what, let's let's wrap it up here for this episode. Um, we still kind of learned, we still unlocked something quite new and quite exciting and pretty cool. Uh, I think the dining room area will move back this way, possibly. That just makes more sense. And I don't know if we must maybe actually look at making it closer to the kitchen. I'm glad that we... Negative 25 decoration. Holy... Jeez. Okay, we're going to have to pump quite a bit of resources into this. Uh, we've also got the other resorts that we need to that we need to go and manage as well. Make sure we've got guests flowing through there and stuff. Um, and look at how we can, you know, enhance those and stuff. Even the, the little dinky shed. We might need to upgrade all the rooms. Um, because people's expectations are getting higher. Which is great. Also means it's also a good thing for us because... It means that we get more more revenue at the end of the day but uh yeah we'll we'll wrap it up here guys thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it if you enjoyed this make sure to hit that like button while you're there want to consider subscribing as well it really helps out the channel and uh make sure that hank here opens up his own farmhouse resort and kitchen bnb thing anyway guys thanks so much for watching cheers bye